Today on Small Cap Power, we're talking to Frank Holmes, the CEO and Chief Investment Officer at US Global Investors. He's also the Executive Chairman at Hive Blockchain Technologies. Frank, thank you so much for joining us. Great to be with you and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. And I just got in from warm Texas to uh, <laughs> very cold Toronto. And how are you feeling? We have lots of hot topics uh, to talk about I still got my today. scarf on. <laughs> So let's talk about artificial intelligence. Uh, now AI and machine learning are completely disrupting how we know how the world runs. Every business function and industry is being reimagined. Governments are heavily investing into industrializing AI. Uh, do you think the investor community is taking notice of this trend and um, you know, realizing the importance of AI for the future? I think the smartest quant funds out there are absolutely, and let's start with the DE Shahs and uh, we have other Renaissance technology um, that have spectacular returns, and they've been investing in deep learning, machine learning, mm -hmm. and artificial intelligence. Yeah. And it's becoming cheaper and cheaper because of the cloud and the capacity to store data and process data. One of the biggest things I learned in launching my Jets ETF in New York and then Go Gold, and in Toronto it's called Go Go, is a ticker, uh, is a quant approach to picking gold stocks. Mm -hmm. But in that process, we spent 8,000 hours of data cleansing to mm -hmm. make sure the data is correct. And every time you run an iteration, it would take us eight hours, and the next day we'd then all of a sudden see the ramifications, implications of it. Um, that before would take six months. Right. So one day. Hmm. on one factor, going back 12 years of data and processing every transaction every day during the market for 12 years. Yeah. Uh, that is what's making a big difference for investors. Hmm. Now let's talk about cryptocurrencies. Uh, as the executive chairman of Hive Blockchain, you've experienced the pain in the cryptocurrency industry. Many of these currencies are down 80 to 90% in 2018. Uh, do you think this negative price trend is having a bearing on the development momentum within the larger blockchain space? Wow, let me share with you. It is the fastest, most significant bull and bear cycle I have ever witnessed. I saw wealth creation go exponential, and I literally mean exponential outside of the cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. And then I saw compression, which would normally never fall this percentage-wise, mm -hmm. fall so great in a, in a short time period. It's almost like a junior explorer, mm -hmm. and then they say, no, they're not gonna let that deposit come into production. Big discovery, and all of a sudden it falls 90%. Mm -hmm. That's of experience for a whole industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and the big difference is that when I've seen other crises like this where there's been big corrections, usually it's leverage unwinding. The 2008 crisis was where brokers were leveraged 33 to 1, hmm. owned by a bank which was leveraged 6 to 1, yeah. and people were buying houses with 1% down. Well, that all came cascading down for sure mm -hmm. and created a, a contagion that was global. Yeah. Uh, this is all cash. This is not a leverage play. This to me is much more like the Hong Kong stock market. It's more of a cash economy. Uh, they have bigger upsides and bigger downsides. Mm -hmm. uh, but because you don't have a, a, a bankruptcy unwind, mm -hmm. bankruptcy unwinds take four years. So this cycle could cleanse itself much shorter okay. because it's not leveraged. Uh, and so what we've had to do is hive is buckle down. Uh, we've had to renegotiate terms with our partners at Genesis Mining, yep. just like our peers have had to go to do that. Uh, we've had to diversify, which we've done with Bitcoin. We're now mining and the cloud. Originally, we were going with our own. It was cheaper from an from electricity point of view and for uh, overall movement of capital. Mm -hmm. We're looking at North America. There are great buckets of cheap electricity from Texas. Do you know Texas is the largest user of wind power? Amazing. And you can get two cents a kilowatt. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to other countries. So we're reassessing Sweden, uh, its cost structure. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at other opportunities in North America. So we remain committed to it. Uh, a year ago, our performance, and I always told people that based on Bitcoin today and Ethereum today and the difficulty of mining these coins, we were going to have $300 million in, in revenue and about over $200 million of free cash flow. Well, how the coins have fallen, like you said, 90%, where now it's over $30 million of mm. revenue and ba basically eking on a very small uh, cash flow, positive cash flow. Uh, but this sort of pop that we've seen now with Ethereum, it's up 80% from its lows four weeks ago. Up 80%. Okay, so we're all already seeing that uh, you, you, climb up. 
in a blink of an eye. Yeah, wonderful. So in 2019, what can we look forward to at Hive? Any operational highlights you'd like to share? What's most important for investors to recognize, we've become like a digital currency. Uh, we have 30,000 investors that trade us. We're the most liquid name. Uh, we trade 92% of the time on a daily price action of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we have become, during stock market hours, the go-to way to play the derivative of the coins themselves. So okay. that's what's really most interesting. Mm -hmm. So we can come up with great growth plans that will get a revalue up, but then our price action every day hmm. follows the price action, just like a gold stock. Okay, wonderful. Frank, thank you so much for your time. Wish you all the best. Thank you, thank you.